This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, Table Talk Entertainment says the WWF has a long-standing history in Detroit. Any memories, good or bad, that stand out the most? In Detroit? In Detroit. So God, Detroit. Oh, shit. Uh, you know, I... As I've said before, Detroit was always one of those places where you had guys like George Thorogood that would show up, Thomas Hitman Hearns that would show up, the Red Wings would always show up. And it, it was funny, the the artists that lived in the Detroit area, you know, Kid Rock lives right outside of Detroit. And Detroit was one of those markets that always did well, but I think that the things that I remember most is Hogan Savage with Buster Douglas as the referee is one of those moments that I just will, will never forget um, because of the magnitude of it all with Tyson getting knocked out for the first time, whatever the Sunday before Saturday night before whatever it was. And Detroit was just one of those towns. It was always a great town. D Detroit and Chicago, you know, in the Midwest were insane. Here's one from Matt. Has Bruce ever seen Matt Riddle's knockout on the ultimate fighter? If not, Conrad, would you please show him? Because it's legit. One of the most devastating knockouts in MMA history. Did you see any of Matt Riddle's fights back in the day? I saw some of Matt Riddle's fights back in the day. Yeah. I don't know which specific one you're talking about. I'll send you a link, but he was a highlight reel over there. And, um, well, there's probably an MLW story to tell one day. Let's, um, let's switch gears here. This is a, a throwback question. MRBZ says Bruce once said in passing, Ole Anderson killed the cage match. What happened to make him think that? Uh, Ole Anderson was, to my knowledge, one of the first guys that ever, like, just had the cage raise and allow heels to get into the cage. Um, it was just weird. And up until that point, the cage had always been used. Nobody in, nobody out. And at that point, the cage became just another prop. And unfortunately... Uh, it, it's hard to turn back because if, you know, cage can be a, a violent, brutal, but in the South, anyway, the cage match was nobody in, nobody out to a finish. And Ole was the first one in the South in Atlanta that had raised the cage and allowed people to, to run in. And, and then it was like the cage raised for the heels, but then the baby faces couldn't get into the cage to save them. And, and it just, and then people started doing shit like that. Dusty started doing shit like that. And, and everybody started doing shit like that to where the cage wasn't what it used to be. And then you had to figure out other ways to make the cage, um, a part of the story and guys like Bruno and guys like the Sheik who didn't want to do the clean job, the, the finish to escape the cage became the norm. You know, she couldn't pin the sheik, but you could get out of the cage before him. So that, that was the rationale there. And, and, you know, people do things, you know, you know, why, why they do them. And, and, and then it evolves from there. Uh, Grand Inquisitor says, with it being Sabu's birthday, it's the perfect time to ask. What was the thought process as far as allowing Sabu to start cutting his own promos in the WWE CW show? You know, I think that any performer, you go back and you look at Kane and people thought that we were crazy when we let Kane start talking. At some point to communicate with your audience, they want to hear from you and they want to be able to connect with you in, in some way. And that was, that was a big part of, you know, trying to get Sabu to, to talk and, and to do his own promos. And I think that Sabu kind of was comfortable where he was. And, um, it's just trying to grow, man. And, and, and you have to grow and you have to, you have to continue to evolve. 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.